Welcome to Channel 18 News. I'm Jim Rogers. Hopkins County deputies were called to a residence on State Highway 19 South regarding the safety of an individual, but when they arrived, the individual was not at the residence. A family member was, and they spoke with Roy Wayne Anderson, age 39, by phone. He sounded either impaired by alcohol or narcotics. As they attempted to locate Anderson, he drove by the residence. They pursued. A traffic stop was initiated, but Anderson slowed, pulled to the shoulder, and then took off at a high rate of speed. During the pursuit, Anderson crossed the yellow line going head on with at least two vehicles and passed two other vehicles on the shoulder of the roadway. Finally, his vehicle struck one of the individuals he was attempting to pass, causing an accident. Anderson was arrested for driving while intoxicated second and evading arrest detention with a vehicle. A stew pot and holder and a tent were taken from the stew grounds at Buford Park, but not by the owner. The stew pot and holder was taken from Site 73. The holder for the stew pot says spokes for hope. Also, East Texas Physical Therapy Tent was taken from the stew grounds from their location. The Hopkins County Chamber of Commerce and the owners ask, if you accidentally picked up either of these by mistake or know someone who might have, please contact the Chamber of Commerce as soon as possible, 903-885-6515. Otherwise, Hopkins County Sheriff's Office and Sulphur Springs Police will begin the search for the pot, holder, and tent. Here's Don Julian with sports. Eleven members of the district champion Lady Cass volleyball team received all district honors. Included were two superlatives. Senior Kaylee Jefferson was named the Offensive Player of the Year, and sophomore Erica Van Bentham was selected as the Newcomer of the Year. Lady Cats making first team all district were senior setter Andon Hammock, junior Autumn Tanton, and senior Mika Van Bentham. Lady Cats selected to the second team all district were senior Imani Taylor, senior Libero Maggie McGlamry, and junior Sadie Stroud. Getting honorable mention recognition were junior Abby Bear, uh, junior Madison Vickery, and junior Lexi Wisenhunt. The all-district selections were made by the district's coaches meeting at Sulphur Springs High School on Wednesday. And 10 Lady Cats earned academic all-district honors. They are senior Kaylee Jefferson, junior Sadie Stroud, senior Maggie McGlamry, senior Amani Taylor, senior Nasaya Dugan, senior Andon Hammock, junior Autumn Tanton, junior Abby Bear, sophomore Erica Van Bentham and junior Madison Vickery. It's Greenville versus the Wildcats Friday night at Prim Stadium on Senior Night. And these are a new bunch of Greenville Lions. They are winning. The Lions are 5-3 and three this season and they're fighting for a playoff spot with a 2-2 two two district record. Their head coach is Darren Duke. He's in his second year. Coach Duke replaced his mentor, Marvin Sedbury, who hired Duke to be his defensive coordinator four times, twice at Greenville and also at Dallas Carter and Bryan. Coach Duke also built the program in Dallas Conrad, getting them to the playoffs several times. And Coach Duke is excited by how the Lions have played this season. They were one in nine last year. Coach Duke credits the players for their hard work and also his coaching staff. Coach Duke says his offensive leaders now are quarterback Caleb Jarvis and back Christian Dunson. Both players are picking up the slack made when back Nick Maps was injured. Maps is not expected to play Friday night. Maps led the team in rushing, receiving, and kick returning when he was injured a couple of weeks ago. Coach Duke says his defensive leaders are senior safeties Colton McNair and Jaquan Allen and senior linebackers Luis Garcia and Victor Enriquez. Coach Duke calls the game with the Wildcats the biggest game for Greenville in 13 years. 
the Wildcats basketball team will scrimmage two Class 6A teams Saturday at Saxe. And Wildcats basketball coach Clark Cipolletta says he's ready for that scrimmage. Yes, uh, you know, we're really looking forward to it. We're uh, um, tired of beating up on ourselves. We've been going really hard uh, the last week and a day, and uh, we're kind of just looking to see uh, another opponent and just kind of see how we stand. We're going to play two really good teams. I'm going to play an eight-minute quarter back-to-back uh, -back against both teams, so it'll equal out two games, but kind of divide it up. So uh, we're playing some good 6A talent, and um, it'll kind of show us, you know, where we stand at the time. Yeah. You know. Uh, I, I assume you're going to play Saxe. That's with yes, the sir. side of uh, the uh, scrimmage, and there'll be another team. Who else? Uh, Fort Worth Trimble, really long, athletic team. Um, I, they were a playoff team in 6A last year, so um, just anything to kind of just see our weaknesses early on and kind of give us an idea of what we need to work on. Um, I, I'm sure your mainline guys will, will see a lot of time, but I, I guess a lot of the bench players mm -hmm. you'll want to kind of see, you know, what they bring to the table for yes, this year. Yes, this is a time uh, we kind of have a unique team, still very young in some aspects, still have a lot of sophomores, even though they still have varsity experience, uh, I still have a lot of newcomers. So um, as practice and scrimmages come about, we're, st we're trying to find out their roles on the team. Mm -hmm. And um, they'll, they'll have an opportunity to, to kind of show me what they, what they have and kind of earn that um, role um, throughout the next two weeks. I would think uh, you have some spirited practices with players, uh, you know, kind of showing each other what they can do. <laughs> yes, it's very competitive. I think that's what makes us a, a really unique team because we have uh, such depth um, that we're able to battle um, on every possession. I, I could have Victor and Xavier going against each other and um, they, they give each other uh, the, the best that they have. So um, it's each other making each other better. So, um, you know, that, that's, a, that's a huge part of um, why I think we'll be successful. Yeah, the last time we talked, you said Cork had gotten mm -hmm. so much better because he spends time, you know, going against Victor all the time, and that makes him better. It does, yes. And uh, a lot of my young guards, I have young guards that's in Grayson, Grayson McClure, um, a couple of freshman guards that are in the period, and, and they have to go against Keiston and Michael and those guys every day. Um, so that's going to make them better in the long run as well. So um, once you kind of have that going, it just kind of domino effects and kind of takes care of itself. Anybody got any taller this year? Uh, you know, Xavier grew a little bit. He's about 6'8". Michael grew another inch. I think he's at 6'6". Six, six. Keystone, 6'4". Wow. So um, I might be being a little generous on that. But they, they have grown about an mm -hmm. inch over the summertime. And we have a, a unique group. We're just really long. And um, defensively, uh, I don't think you can really expose us on a mismatch because even my point guards can guard, uh, you know, most teams big. So um, it's a good good problem to have. Yeah. Uh, anything new on Gigi, or you're still waiting to get have him cleared from the doctor and all that? Yes. Um, last I heard, he was out two to like six months, worst case scenario. But he goes back to the doctor next week, mm -hmm. um, next Wednesday. So we'll see. Uh, you know, just where he stands. Yeah. See how that bone heals, and if we have him, we have him. But right now, we're projecting we don't. So I'm just trying to get the other guys ready. The Wildcats will have a second scrimmage Tuesday at Mesquite Poteet before opening the regular season Saturday week with a game in the Cowtown Showdown at North Crowley. Thanks for watching Channel 18 News. Have a great evening. That being said, let's get to the fun stuff. I have just a few to report. Um, we had two... Did you have another individual donation? Or did I just have this one? Yes. I okay. Think I do. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, we had two individual donations that came through. Um, and they came through in two different ways. So, again, to remind everybody that if you want to make an individual donation, uh, one came to our United Way PO box, which is PO box 735 here in town. An individual donation came in. Uh, from the Brewer family there, and then one got dropped off at the Civic Center, which is another good way to donate um, from Miss Fletcher. So we had individual donations that came through um, in a couple of different ways. So Ocean Spray was here last week, and they announced their donation, um, and they had a little bit to add to it. They added nearly three hundred dollars to it. So their total corporate donation and employee donation for Ocean Spray is now at eighteen thousand seven hundred and seventeen dollars. <laughs> And another good one to announce, um, Brandon, Susan, and I uh, were invited last Tuesday to go to Atmos uh, here in town. You know, they they typically give to the Hopkins County United Way and also the Hunt County United Way. 
uh, and they divide up their not only their employee uh, donations but also their 50% corporate match. And this year, the Hopkins County United Way is going to receive four thousand two hundred thirty-four dollars and twenty-four cents from that. Wow. So we're very, very appreciative of that crew out there. So go ahead and start here, Brandon. If you want to announce yours. Thank you, sir. Uh, so we had went to Farm Country and picked up yesterday. They had a uh, they exceeded their goal of three seventy-five. They uh, donated five hundred. Awesome. Northeast Texas Farmers Co-op. They've been a longtime supporter. They met their goal of six hundred twenty dollars. And then I got a preliminary update from Cumbie ISD. They're still in works, but we got $1,120 from Cumbie ISD. Awesome. So. That's it? Okay. Um, Abercrombie Body Shop went over their goal, and they gave 100 And then Cromer Custom Bands contributed some. And our extension staff is waiting on Mario to get his in the mail. <laughs> so I think we will meet or exceed our goal. Awesome. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Um, I have the pawn shop downtown um, and they exceeded their goal. Uh, Janine's Country Cottage met her goal. Um, Sharon Bernie at Artist Dance um, exceeded her goal. And Mother's Culture Club exceeded their goal. Yes, ma'am. Oh, she's not. <laughs> she's she's taking diligent notes. Okay, we'll get okay. our packets next year. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the one that I was pending, uh, they can't do anything this year. That's all that I've got. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Now Reagan didn't have anything else going on the last week, so yeah, yeah. No, nothing. But yeah. I did pick up from everybody that I had left. So. Uh, thank you, Reagan. <laughs> so, um, I made a mad dash to do that yesterday so um diamonds and designs they met their goal of 46 dollars so did dana's of 77 dollars um furs did as well of 42 dollars and then um pizza in did 50 dollars and um i they lost their envelope so they just put it yeah, in their right. envelope so <laughs> Any envelope works. Yeah. don't even need an envelope so. thank you and just let me remind everyone that Reagan was the one that coordinated the give back tomorrow at Monday. Oh, so yes. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Reagan. And that. Reagan, of course, had a really busy week coordinating Fall Festival and was still able to, on top of a regular job, <laughs> huge community festival, and still collect the dog packets. So thank you, Reagan. Reagan, you'll pass it. I have not slept very much, people, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Pass this one down, and that way you'll have it for later. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, I have picked up my last packet um, and he did not meet his goal but he did give. Awesome. awesome. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and then I have several to report. Um, several that Beverly Owens dropped off. Donation from McKay Music Company. Also Northwest Mutual Wesley Cooper. Um, donation from Juan Pablo Restaurant. Also have Let's see, a essentially corporate donation from Super Handy stores, but then individual donations from one, two, three Super Handy stores, which I think those are the three in our area. So 100% awesome. participation there. Also a corporate donation from Joe Bob's, and then one of Joe Bob's stores also made a donation. Um, Century 21 hometown donation. JB Weld, um, Como Picton donation as well. And so we're grateful for the teachers and staff out at Como Picton. And you know, that just kind of reminds me that it's not just a Sulphur Springs ISD essentially um, campaign because we serve these county school, our, the organizations that we help support will serve people that are in these county schools, so we appreciate their participation, just like Cumbie that you mentioned. And then um, Hopkins County Hospital District, EMS and Communications Department, donation and pledges totaling $2,133.42. Wow. Awesome. So we're very grateful um, for them. I know that there are many, many, many um, large donations still out there. I'm expecting one to come in today. Um, so I am confident with those that we still have outstanding that we'll, we'll be at 175. That's great. Next Wednesday. So Susan guarantees it. 
<laughs> I am confident. It's not her first rodeo. No guarantee on it, so that makes me feel better. I am confident. All right. If anyone still has packets that you're hanging on to, if you'll pass those in and I'll get us a total for today. But on that, well, <laughs> double checking means accuracy. There you go. Here's today. Very nice. Okay. All right. So our total donations today: eleven thousand six hundred forty-seven dollars and sixty-six cents, bringing us to a total of one hundred six thousand one hundred ninety-eight dollars and six cents, which is sixty percent of our goal. Woo! Awesome! 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 So. We've got 40% of a goal to make up in eight I, days. I am confident. So, but it does happen every year. Yes. So. It does. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Well, again, thank you very much for y'all's effort and your hard work. Thank you very, very much. So. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. So. So we'll see y'all next Wednesday, yeah. Lord willing.